Hey guys, welcome back to Bucks and Bass TV, and I haven't posted in a while um, due to the fact that I have been extremely busy with going up to my farm in North Central Pennsylvania and also working um, on this piece of property here, putting in stands, doing food plots, and checking trail cameras quite frequently. Um, also, school has started, so it makes you know um, filming a little bit harder, but um, we're going to. Uh, show you guys what uh, happened in this time um, that I haven't been posting. So yeah, as you guys can tell the food plot up here is taking shape quite rapidly. Um, leaves are starting to fall as you guys can tell but this food plot we have our range in is doing pretty well. It's a little dirty littered with some weeds but um, I'm sure the deer don't care. Um, so yeah, I mean this is basically what's been happening. We have clover all through here and uh, the deer have been in here like crazy. There actually is one shooter buck, um, or two shooter bucks that I've seen from you. I'm here to, sh I haven't shot too many deer in my lifetime and I'm here to shoot um, the first uh, good eight point that I've seen until probably next year. I'll really start shooting, you know, this five year old deer. but. Um, these ones are some pretty nice bucks that um, I'll be willing to shoot this year, but um, they're definitely going to start taking advantage of this food plot. And come um, early season when it's still warm out, they'll be eating these uh, greens here. So I'll put up a picture of those bucks now. One has a really um, goofy rack, but I know who he is. He has really tall brow, tall brow tines, and the other one is just, you know, a basket framed eight. Um, but... I'll shoot either one of them. Um, the one was already in Hardhorn on September 2nd, I believe, and uh, the other one was not, and that was a little bit earlier, a couple of weeks ago, maybe two weeks ago. He could be in Hardhorn for all I know now, but, um, so yeah, um, that's basically been what's going on up here. So we're going to go check this trail cam, put the card back, and um, get back to you guys. I think some other things that I've been doing lately are practicing a lot. Um, you know, it's never too late to start pulling out the bow and start flinging some arrows um, to make sure when that um, buck that you've been hunting is in front of you, you uh, are ready to take the shot. Also, um, I've been scouting some bedding area pretty heavily. I actually just bought a trail camera on Saturday. Um, today is month Tuesday. Um, I bought a Moultrie A20, and we're going to pull that um, probably Saturday of uh, this week and um, check it one last time before deer season and then check it on um, a week later when deer season hits which is in two weeks on September 15th so stay tuned for those I'll be cranking out videos like crazy hopefully by then um, with tons of content on uh, deer hunting but uh, we're gonna see what came through on this trail cam and uh, See you guys later. One last thing is I suggest um, what that's going to make me really successful and I suggest you guys do it um, at the little time that you do have left is scouting bedding area. Um, I've been scouting bedding area this whole year and I've found I'm mainly looking for buck rubs um, and a good channel to subscribe to is the hunting public which is um, they mainly do focus their efforts on hunting uh, bedding area. They know a lot more about it than me. And I suggest go over and uh, checking a few of their videos out. They hunt public land ma mostly, and they're just starting their deer tour now. But it's a really um, educational, uh, yeah, you know, funny twist to some of the stuff they do on their channel. I suggest you guys go look at their channel, um, maybe subscribe to them, and uh, you can learn what I've been doing this year, such as um, uh, scouting bedding areas for bucks. So with that being said, um, I hope that guys gave you an update on what I've been doing recently this past month. Um, scouting bedding areas, shooting my bow, preparing food plots, going up to my farm in north central Pennsylvania, doing all that. And I uh, hope you guys <clears throat> have a safe and enjoyable first day if it hasn't already passed. And uh, good luck to this year's deer season. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, this is a different day. Um, we're checking trail cam, one trail cam today. Um, it's on a mock scrape. It's my Moultrie A20 I have set up over here. Um, I just walked pretty far, so I'm a little out of breath. But um, so yeah, we're gonna go check this trail cam on a mock scrape, and uh, hopefully the one eight point I've got back down um, towards my house more 
is making his way up here and uh, doing his rounds up here. We got a mock scrape um, with an A20 on it, so we're gonna go check it and some bedding, like I said, a lot of bedding, scouting, and uh, other stuff like that. So uh, stay tuned, guys. Let's go check this trail cam. So basically right now I'm hunting edges. This is a big cherry oak and maple flat here. Well, there's some big oaks that drop some uh, acorns. But, um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, we have a, a lot of bedding here. It gets really thick and um, it opens up a bit more over here. Um, so yeah, I'm hunting this edge. I got a climber tree right over there. So it actually doesn't get really thick until um, you get in. That trail's right over there. It doesn't get really thick until you get in about 15 to 20 yards. And then it starts getting really thick as you guys can tell right here. So the trail cam's right there on that tree. And um, I have a mock scrape right there. And a bunch of trails getting into here. One right there, another one right there. Here's the mock scrape right here. Trail right there. Right there, again, running right there. Another one right here. And another one just over there. So I got it in, intersecting in front of all of these with the Moultrie 20 right there. So that's gonna wrap up this video. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe and like the video, or to the channel if you like the video. Um, we're gonna check these trail cams, and if there's any uh, interesting photos, I will pop them up right after this. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.